Hello! This is Y'all Weasel. Let's play Dark and Gritty. Stanley Parable. Now, how can I cause events to happen in this game? <laughs> it is... I have reached the, you know, you are sort of outside of the game portion of the game, but since that's the entire point, I can only assume that there is some way to make something happen. Really wish I had a flashlight. <laughs> it is very, very hard to see. Well, we can follow the left wall. I do more so than before feel like I might have fallen outside of the game. I guess I could go back to my office. Hey, somewhere I can see. 427! That's me, but I have nicer computers now. Well, that did nothing. Hello. That's very interesting to me. But I can't get to it from here. We're playing a grittier version of the Stanley Parable with... Okay, light turned out. I wonder what he found. Nothing. What he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story. Well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. I emphatically have not. what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end. To make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. Good, I'm getting bored with this route. Um... Okay. Well then. What haven't we done? Let's see. No extra options were missing early on. I feel like we haven't explored really either direction completely I knew it perfectly well perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first bit van Biden chat points out that one thing we haven't done is go the right path and then become compliant here but eager to get back to business I'm eager to get back to business left and so he detoured through the maintenance section walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. You know what, let's let's be ultra compliant for a moment. I'll definitely do that later. Yet there was not a single Ah, this feels familiar. It might be that it actually doesn't affect the outcome or Oh hello! Didn't the broom closet not open before? He stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Oh, it does let me reopen the door. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. They hadn't even bothered to, like, paint the walls or anything? Like, this is pretty crappy even by broom closet standards. Baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom Hello! This is what I've needed all along! At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. That's what I'm doing! Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? I just... I'm curious how much it'll piss you off. I'm confused. I, I offer the explanation. I'm curious how much it'll piss you off. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no 
of significance to the story. It is of great significance to the story. The significance is that you wander into the blue broom closet and stand there for a year. That is the story. The story is Stanley got scared, he walked into a broom closet, and he's currently cowering in the corner. About this with your friend, you'll say, oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I'm pretty sure Bit Van Vite just said that in chat. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Yep. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Almost certainly. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. You're damn right. Can I, like, equip this broom now? What a crappy looking broom. About what's going on right now. You're dead. Yeah, these things happen. Broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Ugh. Oh god, I collapsed too much! No! Oh, what have I done? I was just trying to make a joke! Oh god! No, 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 no! <laughs> situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. <laughs> Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. Yeah, unfortunately wearing headphones too. To any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. I know, right? Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on me. I'm afraid it's lost on me. Of course, that mainly because I'm a corpse. I'm afraid there's no other humans nearby. The question is, is there a broom closet ending, or is that the end of that narrative? And I don't really want to sit here and make a video of literally staring at the corner of a broom closet, and yet I do. So I'm going to introduce you to a concept called the halting problem. So in computing, the halting problem is an observation about uh, uh, computer software, so to speak. It's a, an abstraction about computer software. That essentially, the only way to determine whether a computing program will halt, whether it will end, in this case halt, in the sense of finishing the game, the only way that, to determine whether it will halt is to run it and see if it halts. But of course, to run it and see if it halts, you have to run it eternally. Because if it doesn't halt, there's no way to determine the difference between it runs for a million trillion trillion years and it runs forever other than to wait for a million trillion trillion years. So, you cannot determine, in general, for all programs, whether the program will halt. That's the halting problem, and that's the problem of this broom closet right here. So, chat is telling me to exit and re-enter. I guarantee you too. Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Isn't that the truth? A monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Great. Hey, it's fine. It's fish now. So, is it actually an ending, or...? No! No ending! Do we...? Well, I'm not gonna sit here and, uh, solve the halting problem, so... We're gonna call that not an ending. Let's continue on! <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Let's see here. I do wonder whether that made any difference at all. Gee, I wonder if I went through the elevator more than once, if it would change anything. 
Maybe you just need enough times through the elevator. I do love that the narrator sort of scats along to the elevator music. What is up with th like, is this intentional? Is this how the walls of the elevator are supposed to look? It just, it seems like there's no way that this is how it's supposed to look. I mean, the game has looked pretty intentionally broken before, but uh, this is particularly odd. And I can't even clean up while I'm in here. Specklad in chat asks if I want hints. No, of course I don't want hints. I want hints only if I get to a point where I'm completely stuck. And I'm definitely not there yet. There are lots of options open to me that I haven't explored. Boy, this is a... Uh... This is a long elevator. I might not bother to go through this twice because it's really, really long. <laughs> Was it this long the first time? I feel like they've intentionally put it right at that length where it feels obscenely long. There is a 100% chance that it was not this long the first time around. I mean, I definitely didn't click the button again or anything like that. But when I do, I get let out, so great. Okay, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, 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 dark secrets, the keypad, Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Uh, have you not given me a reticule for a reason <laughs> would really help there, but whatever. We can just play the is it in the center of the screen game. Down we go. That looked slow enough that if I had immediately zipped out, I could have uh, escaped. Stanley walks straight ahead through the large door that haven't gone that way yet. Control facility. Let's go this way. Let's go to the escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Cool, I love violent deaths. Does it even give me the option to go back? It looks like it might. <laughs> well, I don't want to meet my violent death. Of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Of course he did. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Is he repeating the like approximations of the lines but with less conviction? 
Oh, okay. Well, hmm. So, Pit Van Bite in chat is telling me to jump off. Maybe he means the elevator? Climb on a desk. I can't tell if Bit Van Biden chat is trolling me or not. Because <laughs> climbing on desks is definitely not a thing that can be done with these game mechanics. Maybe you have to crawl climb. Let me up. Maybe it's another desk. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature really I think Bit Van Bytel in chat is a liar. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom... Oh, hello! 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 We found a new way to die! Oh. We're not dead. Is that like an actual bug? Was that not intended? Uh, bug ending, best ending. And thumbnail. <laughs> for next time. Until then, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you can help decide what I play next at yallweasel.com slash poll. Cheers from Yallweasel.